Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Aries here, as also as you guys know me as Rita. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Bible. This is a video blog, but this has something to say. Brother Aaron was talking to me about religion tonight, or not somewhat religion, but he was complaining about religion, I should say, or not complaining so much, but this is the topic that comes to religion. He was talking about how the world's gone to hell and there's too many damn idiots there. And they're all complaining about this, that, and the other. You know, and it's, you know, he's got his own feelings, you know. So I'm going to read you a scripture from the passage from Timothy 2. To Timothy, King James Version, by the way. To Timothy 3, 1 through 3, 7, where it says, this knowing also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, coveted, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. 3.3. Three. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. 3.4. Traitors, heidi, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. 3, 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. 6. For this of sort of which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers' lusts. 3, 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That's 2 Timothy 3, chapters 3, verses 1 through 7. What does that mean exactly? It means in this day and age, everyone is out for themselves. No one has thoughtfulness for their friends, their family. To each their own, as the, my motto says. To each their own. As I said to Aaron, and Aaron spoke, and he said, not you, because I asked, what did I do? He says, I'm thinking of all those damn idiots who don't think of others, who have no imagination, believe the crap they are told with no proof, are quick to argue viewpoints they, are, they know nothing about, who, sing, uh, who sling blame, names words, slings blame, slings names, sling words, and expletive at others without any intellect, those who act and say without thinking. Morons, idiots, this world is filled with them, from peasants to priests to politicians. They are the very where it frustrates me as I see it. Yet the world is blind to it, and the world would be quick to tell me I am wrong. I am the, uh, that I am the idiot who's nothing. I am filled with sorrow. Timothy 2, 3, 1 through 3, 7. That sums up. But he's got a problem. I've had this Bible for almost three plus years. Or more, after mom died. This Bible has been my travel Bible, my companion to God. Companion to Jesus. I may not believe everything in the Old Testament. Or the New Testament. But Jesus spoke. The Sermon on the Mountain was one such thing. Or he said, you know, pretty much. Sermon on the Mar Mountain was like, blessed are the poor, etc. Yep. Sermon on the Mountain was like Matthew 5. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that are meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which 
are persecuted for righteous sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revel you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yes. There's more, but you get the idea. More. Do you want more? I can always give you more. I believe there's Matthew or Mark. Uh, one of them talks about um, the end, what happens at the end of days, or, you know. Yep. So, it might be like... So, basically, what it's saying is, and it could be Mark, Luke, or John, in the Gospels, it talks about the wars, rumors of war, pestilence, etc. That's part of the prophecies of the the messianic prophecies of the second coming of the messiah now what does that mean exactly some say the messiah came but if he did we wouldn't be clinging to our bibles the bible is a good book the new testament in my opinion is kind of different but the new one you know i think it's like mark no, Mark's the shortest. It might be Luke 22, I think, 24. Talking about the end of days. Pestilence and etc. But you get the point. So, what does that mean exactly? It means like I just said. Aaron asked. What is with all these idiots in the world? The idiots are following in the footsteps of greed, of corruption. That's all they're doing. Greed and corruption. This Bible has been with me through a lot of travels. This tome. It's got a cross on it. I gave Angela one. I got a spare one just in case this one goes. This one's got a lot of tears in it. The pages are slowly coming out. Do I worry? No. Why? Because it's a Bible. God wants it to be put to use. So, there you have it. Bottom line is, before I get into my video blog, why is idiots around? Well, I'm not saying you, the viewer, is an idiot. I'm not saying you, the viewer, is Hindu, Christian, Buddhist, or even religious. I'm just saying, for my scriptures, the world has gone to hell in a handbasket because Satan's controlling everything. I asked Aaron a question tonight, and let's just say the answer I got wasn't to my liking so I will talk about that in my other video where's the idiots who's the idiots and why are the idiots simple I will explain a few things in the next video with that said please always if you're Christian follow Christ because Christ is the keys to your salvation with that said, please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box if you like. Please add me as a friend if you like. Thank you, and have a nice day.